You don't even enjoy video games anymore. You literally don't even enjoy something that used to be the most fun thing for you. Porn doesn't even stimulate you like it does. And now you have to go and find like deeper and darker niches and categories of it to try and get any level of stimulation. You're hooked to these things. You're addicted to these things, but they don't even make you feel good anymore. In fact, nothing really makes you feel good anymore. Well, there is one thing that makes you feel good. There is one cure out of depression. You know, the depressed version of that so many people experience is one thing. Go and do some hard stuff. That's what Mike Thurston told me in the podcast I just did with him. Go and do some extremely hard stuff. Go and do some painful things. If there's someone who's watching this who feels depressed, you know exactly what I'd tell him. I wouldn't tell him, oh, you know, it's so bad for you, man. Oh, like maybe go to the doctors and get some medication or do this. Bro, go and do something hard and painful right now because scientifically we know that that pain will lead to a greater rise of happiness because you know what I just explained about pleasure then goes down to pain, but then it doesn't stay at the base level. It goes down every single time. It goes below where you started. Well, that's the beautiful thing about pain. If this is your baseline and then you experience pain through something like an ice bath and then you're down here and then it goes up again because you feel good and pleasurable afterwards, it doesn't just stop at the baseline again. It goes through it and now your baseline has moved. So let's do it again. Boom. It's gone through it again. Let's boom. The cure out of just this modern day nihilism and sadness and hopelessness and just empty feeling that so many guys have. It's not more pleasure because if it was, we'd all be happy. If it was like porn would be amazing, wouldn't it? But it's not. We know that. If it was, video games would have no criticism labeled to them. Drugs wouldn't have any downsides. If the cure was pleasure, we'd all be fine. But it's not. The cure is pain. And hopefully now that you understand this concept, you can actively go out there and seek pain because I think it is, which is so like wholesome to think about. I think all we've needed all this time is education because I'm trying my best to explain these sciencey things to you, but I've learned directly from the scientist who, you know, has evaluated these papers and explained them really well. And once you have the education, the knowledge of how to improve your life, especially from someone who's credible. You can go and put that into action. That's why I've made this video. I hope to pass on just a little bit of what I've learned from Dr. Andrew Huberman, because I think this genuinely is life-changing for so many men. You don't feel motivated because you've experienced too much pleasure. And I don't say that as an insult. I say that with hope because we can reverse this. You may feel more motivated if you pursue less pleasure and more pain. And the way to do this is to think right here, right now, what is your weakness? What is something that you know let's say is physically painful for you, you specifically. If you asked me this question at any time, I would have always told you the exact same answer, cold. Cold for me is actually like genuinely painful. If you've watched a bunch of my videos, you know I've mentioned this even before I ever found out about ice baths and dopamine and stuff. I've subtly mentioned this in maybe five different videos over the, you know, the last few years. I just mentioned it as like cold is literally so painful for me. That thing that you know is kind of like your weakness that other people maybe can handle fine, but for you, it's literally just so painful that you usually try to avoid it. Perhaps that's something that you should chase today.